The 6.5 is on the road here at Dell Technology World 2024 in Las Vegas. Analysts' favorite place and tech companies for having these amazing events, but it has been an amazing event so far. I mean, we've seen AI everywhere, AI infrastructure, AI PCs, which we can now use the word Copilot plus PCs, uh, AI services, AI software, and everything in between. The keynote was awesome, a lot of big news and a lot of big partner faces. Yeah, it was a, it was a really compelling day and we've had a lot of very good conversations here on the 6.5, Pat. Um, we've really covered the gambit. You know, of course, there's tons of focus right now on ChatGPT and LLMs, but I think like every industry that goes through a massive transformation and has a lot of acceleration and momentum, you start to hit a point where people want to get a little bit more practical about it. How does sure. this influence my business? Whether it's, you know, the construction of your, 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 your IT architecture and modernization for AI, or perhaps it's, what are you going to equip your employees with that gives them more technology, more tools, more pr productivity yeah. and efficiency, Pat? And by the way, we've talked a lot of infrastructure today. You know what we haven't talked about? PCs. Yeah, it was TNU. Well, the crazy part is that uh, I, I think today, if we look we look back, you know, f in five years from now, I think we're going to say that today was the biggest day for PCs in decades. And I, I don't use that. Um, I'm very careful with my words. I mean, I was around for internet PCs. I was slinging PCs in 1990. I just been around, so I can't. There is no better person than to talk about this than Sam Bird, who basically runs the PC business at Dell. Hey, congratulations today on an amazing uh, announcement. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. It is an exciting day. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, around the world, the Copilot Plus, uh, you announced what, five new PCs with uh, Qualcomm today that Michael and uh, talked about from the stage. But here's the thing, Sam, is this is, people always see the culmination moment. They see like, oh, it's here. Yeah. People don't often get to really understand the journey that you've been on. And I'd love for you to talk a little bit about that because the AIPC is a moment and you know it's going to apex over time. But walk us through kind of the journey from where, where it started to today's news and the launch of these new, new designs. Yeah, I, th I think you, you said it really well that we have been on a journey. I do agree today is a moment and it's a moment the PC was made for. Um, if you think about how we got here, we've started shipping tensor cores in workstations back in 2017. And you look at the work people have been doing, power users with those workstations in, I, in AI space has been pretty incredible. And earlier this year, uh, we kind of flipped the bit on PCs. We had, we had AI in these very high-end workstations, specialized users. We, launched uh, Intel's Meteor Lake CPUs earlier this year. We went from no NPUs in any mainstream PCs right. to NPUs in mainstream PCs. And it's like, that's, that's a big moment. And you think about, you know, Pat, what you talked about, now today going 4X that level of right. NPU performance, we're starting to see as the hardware showed up, we're seeing the software start to show up. And we kind of had that moment in the beginning where we said, you've got to believe, but the hardware needs to come first, and then you see the ISV and the applications come behind that to really take advantage of the capability. And I think we see that in spades with the things Microsoft's doing around their apps, the operating system, Copilot Plus. I see it in other people in the ecosystem, very excited about going, how do right. we take advantage of this new capability on all these PCs that we have out there? Yeah, so Sam, um, in January of this year, you and I were both on stage uh, the, the Meteor Lake yep. uh, announcement and, you know, Core Ultra. So your customers actually have the first instantiation of AI PCs. And I'm curious, how are they implementing those uh, today? Yeah, uh, Pat, we're seeing them really put those PCs in place. And uh, on stage today, I got to talk about uh, one of our, our customers, Deloitte, really showing off how they're using those PCs today to run AI workloads in their environment. And they're really doing that as customer zero of an opportunity to touch 
a whole bunch of customers that they have across industries. Yeah. So you think about that capability on those PCs, whether it's MPUs, more powerful CPUs, kind of total tops of those systems, we delivered you know, something really impressive at the beginning of this year when you think about what we can do with those Intel CPUs. And we're seeing that go to use in companies today to start to put apps right. into their environment. And I also see a lot of discussion with customers is going, how do I future-proof and get ready for things that will come in the future? So as I keep those systems for two, three years, they're going to be ready to run the kind of workloads that I need to in the next couple of years. Yeah, I think it's always great to hear kind of how these are being implemented, Sam. I, you know, there is this kind of uh, continuum with these AI PCs right. of how people are going to engage with the MPU today. You know, of course, yep. um, we are going to see the apps where, because, you know, I still think like, for instance, something like privacy is a really interesting thing with enterprise data and how much data is always being inferenced out in the cloud. And, you know, we've got this world where we've sort of become a bit numb to, to all this you know, basically data going out to whatever uh, application that we use. Yeah. But I think as enterprises see the power of AI, they're going to want to protect it. That's why I think your, your infrastructure opportunity at, at Dell is so substantial. And I also think on these devices, it's so substantial. But I think people are still kind of, you know, metabolizing that idea. They're digesting it and figuring out, is that, is that going to work? Um, I'd love to hear a little bit more from you about that. And I realize um, I'm throwing a little bit of a left... Uh, I don't know if that's a curveball for you, but you mentioned the Deloitte thing. Like, is that the killer app? Yeah. Well, let me let me take the first part of your your question. Um, we absolutely see the you know the capability that we have in the the PC being really important. We talked about AI and technology coming to where the data is, and the data sits at the edge. Uh, I I think back to the the comment Pat made earlier of. Back in January, we were having to convince a lot of people that it was going to matter in the PC. Right. It is amazing how fast things move that we're here a few months later and we're going like, I think you realized it at the time, Pat, but a lot of people would ask, sure. hey, how, how's the PC going to play in this? And now we're going, this is potentially the defining moment of what the PC is going to look like for, you know, our company's been here 40 years, what the next 40 years are going to look like. And this personal device with Dan, what you said, your content secure on your device, helping you be more productive is a super, super powerful thing. I mean, it's what I said in the beginning, it's like the moment the PC was meant for, yeah. and we've been building through this, to this, you know, through all these years when people said, is the PC going to exist? What's it going to look like? <laughs> now we're like, it's more important than exactly. ever. And the capability we can put on that device of a screen, a way of interacting, the power that you can get on that is is really pretty important when you think about you know this kind of role you can play being augmented by by AI. Um, you know, you asked me about yeah. killer apps. Yeah, I, I don't know. I I think there's two categories though of productivity apps that we have today, getting intelligence built into them that is a game changer and making you more productive. Been working with some of the Copilot Plus yeah. uh, features, and they're really good. They make you more efficient in everything that you're going and doing. I think the other one that you can't, can't kind of neglect is companies are going to put intelligence in the work that they need to do for their customers. And people have different workflows, different needs. So you're going to see the PC is a great de device to take some of these smaller language models that Michael talked about in his keynote. And we keep seeing those come out and, you know, uh, now down to seven, eight billion parameters. I expect we'll see them even more compact. You think about some of the things Microsoft's doing. You can run those on devices to help you in that workflow. And I think I think that's where we'll see there won't be one killer app, but there will be companies figuring out how to make their employees more productive, doing the work that's really valuable, and doing that with multiple models running on a PC. Yeah, Sam, the great part about today is for the first time we saw what Microsoft was going to do on the operating system with the new application called Recall and then a bunch of different partner apps that, that, that went in there. And that was the first time ever that, that, that we had seen, like we had all seen it you know, behind closed doors, uh, but now people are finally going to see it. And, and I think that question, uh, the question is, what are you going to do with this? Yep. There's not going to be nearly as many of those. And Sam, I mean, you went all in on Copilot Plus PCs today, five of them. And listen, I've been, comp I competed with 
Dell uh, when I was at Compaq, I was a vendor when I was at AMD, and I've been tracking you as an an from an analyst about the last 13 years, and I gotta say, you're all in. I've never seen Dell all in, this all in on something so new before. And, and I'm curious, like, what's the motivator behind that? If things changed, what, what are you seeing here? Well, I, I'd say, Pat, Overall, we're all in on AI. So we see the importance of that. You've seen that in the, the keynotes that uh, you know, we've done here and all the discussion <laughs> we've had with you uh, building, building up to this. So we absolutely see it as game changing. Michael talked about a you know, once in a multi-generation kind of opportunity for productivity and enhancement. We've talked about no cap on intelligence, AI kind of augmenting and manufacturing intelligence, that's an amazing thing for where the world can get to. And we see that in enterprise, we see that on the PC. So that's why you see you know, five PCs with Copilot Plus capabilities. We will see more coming across our entire portfolio from all our, our right. ecosystem of silicon partners. So we're excited about that. Uh, we honestly went all in back in January. You look at our commercial systems now, our mainstream right. and premium systems, they are yeah. all shipping with NPUs. Our competitors weren't yeah. as aggressive as us. We believe it's important so customers are ready for what's, what's gonna come and they have you know, great systems. I want them to buy one every year, and, but I also want the ones we have to be really good when they're two or three years out there as a CIO going, did I get the right stuff? Yeah, and I, but the statement you know, about, gosh, I didn't expect to be so broad, is the fact that it's, it's Qualcomm, yep. right? And, uh, it's new, a new chip, a new architecture. Um, and I, I, I was impressed, and by the way, I, I wanna get my hands on one of your XPS as, <laughs> as quickly as possible uh, uh, to use that, because I'm pretty excited. And quite frankly, I think you know, everything I've seen in the last 12 hours indicates to me that um, fourth quarter will start the beginning of a super cycle. And I think, you, know, you can just imagine if we can just shave one year off getting a new PC and yep. uh, by um, getting more excitement into the premium Windows uh, market, I think it's right here. It's right in front of us. No, I, that's what, it, it excites me <laughs> doing amazing devices. And I agree with you. I get, I get excited when you say, hey, let's save a year off the refresh cycle. But you look at all the factors out there. We talked about this earlier in the year. Like there's a large installed base. Yeah. It's, Aging, when you think about the kind of COVID spike, we have Windows 10 coming to end of life. There are hundreds, 300 million PCs more than four years old. Many of them can't run right. Windows 11. And then you throw a bunch of AI capability on top of that. There's, a, there's an opportunity for the super cycle that, uh, that you described. Well, and, I, and I always like to look at you know, shades of gray versus black and whites, right? And uh, very similar to what I saw with internet PCs, there was a class of PCs that could do the internet, and there was a class of PCs that, that couldn't. They couldn't run Mosaic, they weren't connected, they didn't have RJ45 jacks, yep. couldn't connect to a DSL modem, and I, I feel like, am I overplaying this right now, but there are PC, co-pilot PCs can do things that fundamentally PCs, uh, other PCs just can't do. Yeah, and I think they give you that capability, and I, I think you said it well. I mean, we went from a doesn't have to a does have, it's right. like a flip the, in our digital terms, kind of zero to one, it's a, it is a big change. And mm -hmm. you think about that capability you need to have in the future, um, I would be making sure I have something with an NPU and great capability in that device. You think about GPUs, we've been running AI workloads in that space, it's going to be important in the future. I mean, I, I look at the early days of the, you know, I go back some time in this space. Like I think about the early days of the PC where you just saw, you know, step function improvements in performance. And we have that kind of facing us with, uh, with AI that's going to be, you want yeah. it today. And you're, it's going to be better a year from now. It's going to be better, you know, two years from now. So that's the, you know, that's some of the conundrum customers have of, you got to put great tools, though, in the hands of your employees. If you right. don't, you're not going to have the best employees. That's right. And the companies that invest are going to win. And you you got to figure out that in your infrastructure, and you need to figure that out with the people that are doing work in your enterprise. And, the, and there's nothing wrong with creating a little FOMO 
among their <laughs> employees yeah. and among the CIO community that want to make sure that they're equipping their productivity workers with the tools that will enable them to do more. And in the end, by the way, that generally leads to more revenue, more profitability, greater success, greater enterprise value, which, I mean, talk about something if you can get that kind of momentum, create that pull sure. forward six months, a yeah. year, it could create a really great growth story for Dell. And, and of course, you've gone silicon diverse. You're going to have options across the spectrum. And what you announced today was very exciting as well. Yeah, we're going to put best options out there for customers. I, I think you described it well. You think about everything with AI as an, as an employee and a, someone doing work, you want to be enabled with yeah. that. And I don't want to go, hey, I, I, I'm working aside other people. You're telling me work harder, not better. How do I get the most out of someone? And that's exactly uh, the opportunity that we have here. All right, Sam. Well, thanks so much for joining us here on The Six Five. It's been great to have you in the studio and I look forward to having you back soon. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Thanks, thanks for having me. All right, everybody, stay with us here. We are at Dell Technologies World 2024 in Las Vegas. It's been a great day. We've covered all kinds of ground, but we have so much more content to come to you. But for this show, this episode, for Patrick Moorhead, for myself, signing off for now. See you all really soon.